Hey folks, this little video is aimed at people who are interested in improving their mental health, improving their mental strength, improving their mental resilience, and or people who incorrectly think that they have a hard time dealing with stress and there's nothing they can do about that. People who incorrectly think that they are weak-minded compared to other people and they can do nothing to improve that. It's absolute rubbish, okay? So you hear a lot of uh, mental health instruction, mental health coaching, mental health influences say things related to mental resilience, okay? What are they exactly referring to when they say mental resilience or resilience in general when it comes to the body, when the mind? They're talking about your ability to deal with stress, physical or mental stress. They're talking about how well or how badly you can deal with it when it arises, either consciously or subconsciously. You know, exa examples of physical stress include injury, a real bad injury, which is difficult to overcome physically and mentally. It can be um, illness. It can be putting yourself through a rough, hard physical test. Maybe you've got something coming up. Maybe you're a firefighter and you, or you're trained to be a firefighter. You've got an arduous physical test coming up or you're joining the military. You know it's going to be hard and that is going to test your physical resilience, okay? On the mental side, it speaks for itself, obviously, but you've got conscious and subconscious. Conscious, obvious conscious um, types of mental stress, again, emotional stress. Maybe you have a relationship problem. Maybe you've got a work thing coming up, which is going to bring a lot of stress or is bringing a lot around, uh, around a lot of stress. There is so much going on now in the world, especially in the UK. My God, it's hard not to be stressed out in some way, shape or form mentally on the emotional side. Okay, Subconscious examples, kind of the same things I, I mentioned uh, just now, those external influences on, on the stresses, but impacting you subconsciously, not realizing they are, but they're manifesting themselves in other ways, like you're a little bit snappy like your ability to focus a little bit shorter like your ability to organize or plan is a little bit less than what it would be and you can't quite put your finger on it that's probably down to stress being caused at a subconscious level by external things you don't realize it could also be caused by internal things diet exercise your internal voice talking to you and think and telling you you're not as good as you should be or not as good as you could be um so that's resilience your ability to deal with stress okay and there is a common misperception out there that people's ability to deal with stress comes entirely from their genetics and it's just something you're born with right that is totally incorrect or, the, or it's almost all that and there's very little you can do to change your ability to be resilient to mental and physical stresses that's nonsense that's absolute nonsense certainly a portion of it comes from your genetics but not a huge amount and you can absolutely train yourself to be more resilient fact so so how can you influence your resilience? How can you improve your resilience? It's dead simple, okay? You'll have heard this referred to before as being put out of your comfort zone, putting yourself out of your comfort zone. And that's exactly what it is, okay? One of the easiest, best tried and tested methods of improving your resilience to physical and mental stress is to put yourself out of your comfort zone physically, okay? Really, really dead simple. You can do it by mentally putting yourself out of your comfort zone, that can be a little bit more challenging. That is things like addressing fears regularly to improve yourself. But the quickest and simplest way to do it is through physical effort, putting yourself outside your comfort zone, pushing yourself, okay? Now, this wasn't an issue when we were all cavemen and women, okay? Because we were constantly challenged every single day. We couldn't just go to the shop and buy food. We had to hunt for the food. It was a mental and physical challenge every single day. It was a stressor every single day. Okay, You weren't safe in your home at night. You didn't have a home. You had a shack or you had a cave or even before that, you didn't have any shelter whatsoever before you even discovered fire. So right from the start, up until only very recently in the human journey of evolution, this ability to cope with stress has been there in a big way because we were constantly dealing with it as we've evolved and technologies evolved we have become less able to cope with 
mental and physical stress simply because we haven't been challenging ourselves enough because we haven't need to life has quite simply got easier now the problem with that is is that when stress does crop up for you it makes the impact much bigger if you're not ready for it much much bigger if you're not ready for it nervous breakdowns mental breakdowns in extremists taking your own life or it can be a myriad of other smaller things breakdown in relationships challenging circumstances making the wrong decisions all because you've got stress going on that you're not able to deal with so the quickest way the easiest way to deal with building your resilience up is put yourself out of your comfort zone now it's important when i'm saying this for you to not consider um benchmarking yourself against other people okay you may be thinking okay to put myself out of my comfort zone i need to go and do a 10 mile run next week because i saw x y z person do that and that's how they challenged themselves and david goggins said it david goggins did the what the four the four four forty eight whatever he does that two day crazy four four miles every four hours for two days whatever it is no you don't benchmark yourself against other people you benchmark yourself against yourself okay you could be a couch potato right now you could be overweight you could be neither of those things you could be just in a real bad spot mentally and have no motivation to do anything it actually makes it a little bit easier to find quick wins for yourself, okay? Let's say you're a couch potato. Let's say you're not doing any exercise. You just think you should be more exercise. Get out for a walk. Really simple. Do something that you weren't doing before that you know is good for you, but that you don't want to do, all right? It's simple as that. It's putting yourself out of your comfort zone. So what does that do, okay? You've got a bunch of things related to that. You've got one, you're going to have the exertion, the mental exertion, over arguing with yourself over whether you're going to go and do that thing should i do it should i not should i do it should i not should i do it should i not you need to make the right decision okay you need to say yes i'm going to go and do this thing that i know i can go and do and pick something that is achievable simple a little bit above what you're doing now don't pick a grand target like i was just talking about okay give yourself an easy goal a quick win an easy win okay in making that decision to go and do X, Y, or Z thing that is going to put you outside of your comfort zone, just by deciding you're going to do it, that is a win. If you put yourself out of your comfort zone by considering it, and you've demonstrated to yourself that you are capable and willing to overcome stress and overcome adversity by deciding to go and do the right thing. Step one, you're already on the right path here, okay? You're giving, you, you're giving yourself mental stress deliberately to test yourself improve your resilience okay the next thing to do is actually go and do the thing okay let's say it's just a walk go and do the walk maybe you got to get up a bit early in the morning maybe it's a lunchtime walk normally you sit down and have a pack of crisps and a hot dog or whatever at lunchtime and you can have half an hour instead of doing that you're going to go take a 20 minute walk get something healthy on the way and then come back in simple go and do the thing nice and simple nice and easy deliberately easy but a little bit more than what you're doing now that will give you a sense of achievement that you will notice immediately after you've done it it will have a lasting impact whether you realize it or not on your mental resilience it will have a lasting impact on your positivity and most importantly it will impact the way you consider yourself okay and your capability because when you go and do that thing that you decide you're going to do, you will think back and you think, I didn't want to do that. I knew I should have done it. I decided to do it. I chose the right thing to do. And I went and did it. And I completed it. You're giving yourself a value. You're completing something. Okay? You're giving yourself a sense of achievement. And you are demonstrating to your brain that I can give myself a challenge and I can overcome that challenge. I can give myself a challenge that is difficult and I can deal with it well. And I can navigate through it, and I can achieve it, and I can do what needs to be done when the shit hits the fan. That is the reality of it, okay? And the secret to building that resilience and that fortitude up is to do these things regularly, okay? It's one of the reasons that um, a lot of highly successful people, they are also big, big, big people on fitness routine, fitness regime, okay? It's not that the fitness regime or the routine has made them successful. Obviously not. But it's that they are they have been for most of their lives training their brain. They haven't gone out and set out through this, but they've been most of their lives training their brain to be super resilient. 
And most successful people haven't got there through a, a myriad of like success after success after success after success. They failed millions of times. And they've ended up with one or two great wins and they end up at the top because they're able to deal with it because they're more resilient than other people. Okay. Physical fitness or physical activity is the quickest, easiest way to build your resilience. For sure. Whether your aim is to just be a bit happier in yourself, or maybe it's to lose a little bit of weight, or maybe it's to be more capable in a stressful situation. Maybe it's because you know you have a meltdown when an emotional situation is coming up. You don't want to be like that. You want to treat with stress better than you do now. Or you're targeting something where you know it's going to be stressful, you know it's going to be painful, you know you're going to have to have a strong mind to get through it. Maybe you're just wanting to start out in the gym. You haven't got the balls to go to the gym because you haven't been to the gym for 10 years. Maybe you haven't been to the gym ever. And maybe you're thinking, oh, I feel a bit embarrassed about going. People are going to look at me and think I'm a fool. No, they're not. People are going to um, wonder why I'm not lifting heavy weights or why I'm running, going so slow on the treadmill. No, they're not. But you may be thinking that, right? So don't start with a gym. Just start doing physical activity elsewhere. Build it up until your mind is in a positive enough place to go to the gym, as an example. Physical activity, folks. Put yourself out of your comfort zone. That is why these things are spoken about so widely. But I just wanted to explain uh, the resilience aspect because I think people don't really understand what is being spoken about when resilience is talked about. It is your ability to deal with stress and it is totally trainable and you can definitely improve it and you can be someone who has extremely high resilience when it comes to mental stresses and extremely high resilience when it comes to physical stresses that's it that's all i wanted to say really um thank you to one of my patrons uh coke i shall mention him as here that is not his real name obviously coke but thanks for encouraging me to do this and um if any of the h hour patrons want to discuss this more ping me i'll set up a call and we can have a chat and we can talk through it and see how uh, how we approach uh, building our resilience in different ways Cheers, folks.